no lunga, anga zenga lubo no lunga, umpa zuba zuba zuntu ye ye, uko no lunga, uko no lunga, anga zenga lubo no lunga, umpa zuba zuba zuntu ye ye, uko no lunga. Uktula, Ute. We are the people we are today, a battered and angry people. Because for far too long we have missed the major presence of the type of black woman who could raise the divinity in our children, raise the divinity in us. They lied to us and said it was a man's world, a white man's world. And unfortunately, it was she who the world belonged to who brought most into the line, the black woman. Now we wonder with the lack of identity as a people, because black women have lost touch of their true being, the true essence of their self. Because for millennia, they had allowed men to tell them who they are. More so black men. It was from a black woman that their very existence came to be. Now out of sync with the truth, vastly consumed with a lack of knowledge of self, the world has become overrun by black women who glide around half or fully naked, mentally and physically, who go about their business partly drunk or fully intoxicated, both mentally and physically whose worlds continue to be redefined by the lies society has made to their truths. Who within they have come to be without? For from without does their identification begin. But in the midst of that, there are countless black women who continue to redefine their sense of being and identity from the intuition within, whose reflections come from source itself, herself. Black women whose feminism they draw from nature itself, who are nurturing the entirety of their being and by so doing that of all who come in connection with them. Divine mothers whose tongues cut with truths and seed life, whose very presence is the preservation of life. So the smoking that is sexualized black women that society worships whilst they pray on cannot and will not ever hide the light that is black women with the divine knowledge of self. For it is from this type of women in this realm that the Bantu and Ubuntu gets nurtured through the ether. So this message is for those black women, true to their nature, to themselves. I would like to thank you for the life you continue to seed, nurture and spread in the entirety of the world, in the cosmos, by being and honoring yourselves. You keep the future, that of our children shining brightest. And for that, I would like to give my utmost thanks. Oh, no, no, no.
it's important to understand that everything has a nature. Your nature is what you are and that doesn't change. How you act can change. Your habits and opinions can change. The mask you wear can change. Yet your essential nature is the aspect of you that can never be broken. Your nature is the self. Knowing your nature, therefore, is knowledge of self. The nature of water is to flow. The nature of a ball is to roll. The nature of a magnet is to move metal. The nature of a predator is to hunt. Why is it? that when an animal is raised in a zoo and released out into the wild, it dies almost immediately. The reason is that it has been taught to live outside of its own nature, and any being that it attempts to live outside of its own nature becomes more and more disconnected with reality and eventually it dies. Humans have become detached from their nature, but here we will focus on one special kind of person, the black woman. All of the struggle and pain that the black woman has endured. The worst thing to ever happen to the black woman is her having no knowledge of self. If she does not know herself, she does not know her own nature. The result is hopelessness and the inevitable death of her and her own people. The following is a list of important black female icons in history. All of these women were important and worth studying. Yet, why is it that the upliftment of black women focuses on great rulers, emperors, and warlords? These black women achieved great power, but the roles that they played in their societies tells us nothing about womanhood, and relatively, there are very few of these women. Should we view these 20 or 30 individuals as the only important black women in history? No, there were and still are billions of important black women. The most important women were not the Egyptian queens, they were the mothers of civilizations who made black societies possible. The most important women were not the warlords, they were the peacemakers that the households could turn to for nurturing and comfort. The most important black women are not usually famous. They are the ones behind the scenes who sacrifice their time and energy to keep our societies alive, to raise our children, and to support our men. A real tribute to black womanhood must recognize the everyday common black women. Her upliftment process must emphasize her blackness and her womanhood at the same time. Let's turn our attention to the essence of the black woman. It is the same as the essence of the planet that we live on. This essence, this essential principle is shared by both of them. It is the guiding nature to what makes our planet the way it is and what makes the black woman the way she is. It is the same nature, this unifying principle that we call the earth. The earth is the mother of civilization. We will now take some time to study in great detail the nature of the planet and the black woman. The whole purpose of knowledge of self is for you to see who you are and why you are necessary. You cannot truly be you without knowledge of self. Understand your responsibilities which have been predetermined by your nature. 
The black woman is earth. Black woman, allow yourself to be a vessel for positivity. Our community is hurting, injured, and wounded. It can no longer sustain the continuous damage that comes from the battling between the genders. No matter how many times you have been hurt by men, you must not carry that hate with you. Remember, the earth is resilient. Transmit life, not death. Supporting life for so many billions of years, do you think that our planet has become tired? You must maintain the will and resilience to keep going. Black woman, all of this information is given out of love for you and love for our people. Being sexy or stylish is cool, yet presenting yourself solely as a sex object is not cool. Taking pictures backside first is not cool. It cheapens the image of black women. Our young daughters can only be uplifted if they have respect for the image and concept of black womanhood. You, like the earth, have reproductive powers which exist for the propagation of black nations. Black woman, we're in this together, so let's work together. There are powerful forces at work. Corporations, governments, religions, who are at war with each other for control over your mind. There is money to be made off the exploitation of black women. Stop letting them use you. Sharpen your mind so that you do not fall victim to falsehood. Learn to meditate and clear your mind of internal talking. And be open-minded. Your journey through self-education may require you to change your thinking about certain things, which is okay because change is a part of growth. Knowledge of self is what matters, and it will ultimately bring you more comfort in life. Be yourself. And being yourself doesn't necessarily mean doing things that make you feel good or doing things the way you're used to doing them. Being yourself means being in tune with your nature. You are not raised to be in tune with your nature, and nobody has ever tried to tell you what your nature is. Religion, the school system, the news media, they tell you a lot of things, but they never told you what your nature is because they don't care about you. The society that taught you was not trying to free you, because freeing people is not profitable. They were trying to use you, exploit you, and enslave you. Allow the awake black man to love you. A man who loves your nature wants to be with you forever. One of your responsibilities is to learn how to be healthy and to learn the proper ways of eating, exercising, and resting. Earth is a source of life. The black woman is a source of life. It is you who has responsibility for the nourishment and caregiving of yourself and your family. Master the art of healing. Consoling is something that you are naturally good at. Your community is in dire need of your healing touch. The black woman by nature is beautiful. Allow men to see you for the beauty that you naturally have. It is impossible to become more beautiful than the way you were born. Stop trying to change yourself physically. Pay attention to yourself. Learn yourself and be yourself. Let your words flow freely and let them reflect your intelligence. Words are powerful. Speak to educate, to comfort, and to uplift. It is important to smile and be pleasant. Anyone who gazes upon the earth knows that she is the most beautiful of all females. Earth is the highest title of womanhood. Even in the ancient writings, the goddess was lower than the earth, as the goddess had to constantly pay homage and respects to the earth. The earth was always the greatest of female concepts. Black woman, if you have any concern for the survival of your people, then it is your responsibility to place black nation building at the top of your priority list. We can win this if we work together. Let's turn around and reverse this hell that we're living in and create a heaven for us and our children. Your primary principle is equality. A circle has 360 degrees. This has always been the number of completion. 360 is an approximation of a number of days in a year. A day is one rotation of the earth. A year is one revolution of the earth. Therefore, the concept of completion, fullness, and perfection is based on the relationship between the earth and the sun. 
Living in accordance with your own nature, your black man, your children, and your community, you enter the realm of perfection. Humanity needs you. Humanity needs to see and remember the nature of the black woman. The earth is the ultimate female and must be loved, cherished, and protected. Black woman, remember who you are.